welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing my first ever favorites video. Uh, so these are all the products that I have been loving for the month of June. I can't believe that we're in July already. It's just crazy to me, especially to think that three months Avery is going to be a year old and it blows my mind. Um, also, just in advance, if you hear my dogs in the bar in the background, they'll probably either be barking or playing with each other. And Avery is currently down for a nap. So um, let's go ahead and get into this video and talk about all of my favorite products. So I'm gonna start with the first thing, which would be this sweatshirt here. Um, for whatever reason, I've just been loving wearing this sweatshirt. Any lazy day out running errands whatever i'm basically just wearing this sweatshirt um out of all the sweatshirts that i have this one's clean that's the one that i go to and i love wearing it's just super comfortable um and then i love just the color i'm super disappointed that i have a stain on it um this i either got at goodwill or vinnie's it was like not even 15 dollars, so really good deal um, another thing that I've been loving is just this reusable bag as silly as that sounds it's just super cute um, with the, the the pockets and the polka dots and I've just been using this for a tote bag like if I'm bringing um, work to lunch I don't really have a work like lunch bag or anything snacks I have to pack up extra things for the day I will pack this bag um, it was a dollar 98 and I got it at Walmart so super steel deal so I absolutely loved that one thing and then um, one thing that I've been dying to purchase and I have been wanting to purchase this for a while I saw a YouTube video on the um, the updated version of the envelope system. It's the clip system. Um, and in the video, this lady had a Michael Kors wallet. So um, I've been eyeing up Michael Kors wallets. This is the half zip, I believe. Um, and you can see here. So there's room for cards on this side, cards on this side. And there's one, two, three, three little pockets there to hold information. So my wallet is super messy right now. Um, but that is what, whoops. <laughs> that is what it looks like. Um, so typically, um, I like, I can't afford that. Like it's high end, it's super expensive. Um, so I've been looking on Poshmark and Miracal and... The ones that I've been interested in have been either $40 to $75. I'm like, well, I'll just wait. Um, a lot of times on um, Poshmark, as more time progresses on, people uh, that are selling their stuff lower the prices because they want it to sell. Um, so this, I bought it, and it's basically in, like, pristine condition. There's not hardly, like, any scratches on the metal. The zipper is really firm. Like, it's not squished in at all. Um, it has the little wristlet thing here, um, and I bought this for $20, a complete steal, and I'm super proud of myself that I was patient enough, and because, I mean, normally wallets are about $20, so spending $20 on this wallet that I super really, really wanted, um, I'm super proud of myself, and this is super adorable, and I'm super excited that I bought it. Um, so that was another favorite this month. And let's see here, the next item, we'll just go in the order from what's on my d messy desk right now, um, is going to be the Nivea Men's Sensitive uh, Cooling Post Shave Balm. So this is what it looks like. This was a major hype on YouTube. Um, a lot of people said that you could use it as a primer. Um, I actually do need to put some on my face. So, uh, so essentially it is. Oh, that's way too much. Way, 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 way too much. This is really liquidy. Um, and it's supposed to, like, I don't remember what the dupe is for it. But I really do like it. Um, so I do use it as a primer. If it's, like, a no makeup day or if I'm just not wearing any makeup at all, I'll still put this on my face um, and use it as a moisturizer. Because it is, like, it does have a very liquid texture. But it does really add... A lot of moisture to my skin um, and I find a lot of moisturizers that I have tried um, 
leave like a film or just makes my face feel super greasy or super oily and this does not it basically just sinks into the skin um it makes it feel nice and plump it does make it feel a little bit sticky um but that's good for when you are applying foundation so that has been one of my favorites this month um another favorite see here i did a video on it is the broadway colors bb cream absolutely love this um it basically just makes my skin, it evens out my skin tone a little bit. It makes me just look more radiant um, than I already am. So, super love this. I have it in the shade Ivory. Um, and you can look here. And I've used about half of the product that's in here. I think it's like five bucks to buy it at Dollar Tree. Um, and if you want to see that video that I did testing out these um, products, I will link that down below so you guys can see that. Um, another item that I've been loving is the Too Faced Better Than Sex the Waterproof Mascara? Because it is summertime, I decided to go with the waterproof version. Um, it's really clumpy. Um, but this is what it looks like with the packaging and then the wand. Um, I find that the mascara is kind of messy. But it does make my lashes look super black. It gives them a lot of volume. Um, and I really do appreciate that. I am not wearing any mascara or makeup right now. It's a lazy Sunday. But I wanted to film this for you guys because super exciting talking about favorite products and just felt right, you know. So the next item, well, let's see, I'll just grab things off the desk here, um, is this palette. It's just this little, like, um, Z palette that I bought off of Etsy. Um, has the cool wood pattern on it which I think is gorgeous this was $20 um, I'll link the shop down below I was first introduced to this brand by graveyard girl I watch her on YouTube so one of those YouTube made me buy it moments um, but I'm super excited that I purchased this um, now I can put like my makeup geek eyeshadows in there and I can actually use them and every time I just see this, it just makes me smile. I've been waiting quite a while to also purchase this. Um, so, very, very happy with myself that I did end up making a purchase. Um, another item that I've been using a lot this month is this Lorac blush. This is uh, the Buildable Blush in Matte, and it's in Tinge. Um, so, just a super pretty, like, I want to say it's like, I guess it's more peachy. It's more of like a peachy color. I want to say, like, I want to say it's like a dusty. I want to say it's a dusty rose, but it's more of like a warm toned dusty rose, if that makes sense. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, the next item that I have is the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. Um, I've been using this a lot. Um, ever since I did my uh, video on palettes, I've been using this more and more. Um, so this is what, again, the shades look like. So you have um, Rosy Spritz here, Amaretto, Pomplamousse, Prosecco Pop, and then Champagne Pop. Um, so Amaretto, I've been using that a lot in my crease. Um, and then using the two shimmer highlight shades on my lid when I have been wearing makeup. So, super pretty palette. Um, glad that I splurged, splurged on it. I absolutely love Jaclyn Hill. So, that's another product that I have been loving. Um, a couple other things. I'll just grab them all over here. Oh, we can talk about these foundations. This was also in like my foundations video that I did with concealers that I think I just put up last Thursday. Um, this is the Moisturizing Sick Foundation. Um, and then I have it in the shade Ivory and the shade Natural. Um, so with these, I find that the undertone in Ivory is a little bit off for me. So I ended up mixing the two together. Um, so those are what the colors look like. So I end up mixing the two together. Um, I find that it gives a better um, undertone for me. Um, and the color wise together still matches me as well. So I've been really liking that. Um, there's a lot of different like uh, skincare benefits as well in that product. Um, so 
yeah, makes me feel a little bit better about when I forget to take off my makeup night makeup at night, which I do recommend. Like you do need to take off your makeup every single night, but this last week has been just like I need two days of sleep. I took a nap yesterday. Okay, this is how my week went. Yesterday I took a nap while Avery was taking a nap. I snoozed my nap alarm three times, had two cups of coffee, used some cooling eye drops to wake up my eyes, washed my face, brushed my teeth, and then I was awake. Yeah, that's, that's, that definitely explains how my week has been. Just crazy. Um, and then the two perfumes I've been loving has been uh, the Basic Instinct Sex Attraction. Um, and this is a pure romance product. So it has, um, I can't even remember the word, endorphins. I think that's the word. So depending on like your like whatever, so whatever your chemical balance is, it alters what this smells like. And it's supposed to make you more, it's supposed to make you smell better um, based on what your levels are at. Um, and this I've had for... I want to say like three years. It's been a really long time. Um, and then this one I got in a boxy term, I believe. And so I'm slowly using more and more of it. And this is Hello by Prince Harvey. And it's a little roller ball that I had gotten. Um, so this, these have been like the two that if I've been wearing perfume. Um, these are the two that I wear. Um, and then I have two more mascaras. Um, I have the Broadway Colors Defining Waterproof Mascara. Um, this is more of just like when I'm not wearing um, any makeup and I just always have to wear some type of mascara. Um, and I just want to look more natural. Um, I'll wear this. Um, and then the other has been totally hyped on YouTube. Um, I like how it looks on my lashes. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Probably heard about it a dozen times. Um, I heard about it and then I immediately had to purchase it. And I like how it makes my lashes look. Um, the only downfall that I have is that when I'm like laughing so hard that I'm crying or um, if I accidentally sleep, don't take my makeup off, makeup off and I'm wearing this uh, and my eyes start to water, um, this burns my eyes. It is so, so, so painful. Um, that's the only reason why I don't like wearing this. So I don't know if it's just something with myself personally or if I just got a bad um, mascara. Obviously, like, you shouldn't be wearing your mascara at night, so that, that's on me. Um, but when you're crying, like, I get that your mascara runs. It's supposed to run down, but it, like, gets up in my eye, and it just burns, and it hurts. So, love the formula. Love how it looks. Only downfall is when I'm crying. I'm in pain. So, we have that. And then, I'm just taking a very glance look here. I have two nail polishes. Well, actually, just the one nail polish um, that I'm wearing on my nails that I need to repaint. Um, and this is an Essie Nail Lacquer Nail Polish. And this is in Chinchilli, which fits me perfectly because I'm always cold. Um, but this is like a gray tone purple, like a light purple. That's what it looks like to me. I think it's super pretty. Um, and I absolutely love absolutely love wearing it uh, so that is another thing that I have been loving um, taking a drink peach iced tea it's like the best thing in the entire world I found Keurig cups that I can make peach iced tea and then put ice cubes in it to cool it down that is amazing oh, I'm just taking a look at my vanity here just to make sure that there's nothing else that I just have been loving. No, I think that's pretty much it. I think those are pretty much all of the products that I have been loving this month for the month of June. Super excited for July. Super excited for the 4th of July. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do. So, anyways, 
now that I'm just dragging on on things that I just don't need to talk about. This completes this favorites video. Thank you so much for watching and really appreciate you being here, checking out my channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or concerns or anything like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like these outros for me are just super awkward. The intros are pretty good. Like, hey, welcome to my channel. This is what we're talking about today. This is what we're doing. And then just get into it. And the outro, I'm just like, bye. Bye, guys. What am I doing? So if you have any tips on how to do a good outro... You can link anything for me. Be more than happy to watch and listen. I was going to awkwardly say bye again. Okay, so this is the outro from the outro. Probably from another outro. I can't even count how many outros that I've been trying to do. But anyways, thank you again for being here, watching my video, clicking on it, um for however long you've been watching it. I really appreciate it. Feel free to like the video if you like it, subscribe if you wanna subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I upload a video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Okay, bye guys.